What's up, everybody? Welcome to Level Up with Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Pedro Flores. And I'm Gabby Bañuelos, and we're about to level up your dance video. Let's go! Do you want to level up your TikTok video editing skills? Do you want to learn how to fix shaky footage and other tips from the pros? Well, you're in luck! Because Gabby and I will teach you the best way to level up your TikTok videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. My name is Pedro D. Flores. I'm a director, producer, and for the last 10 years, I've been making videos and a musical with today's guest, Gabriela Bañuelos. Gabby's a multi-talented artist. Her popular dance videos have reached millions, and today she joins us to create a dance video from scratch. If you had the opportunity to level up your dance video, what would you do? I have always wanted like a big studio set. Okay. Like literally, like I want to feel like J-Lo, you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we got you. We got so, you. So yeah, lighting. Lighting is always amazing. So I want to... I want how, how would you level up your, your edit, you know? I don't know. Just do like some crazy special effects. I got you. I, w I, would, I would give that to you. Like tell me what software is the best software to use because I, I do need to elevate my software use. Yeah. I do. Well, you know, one of the things that I do want to try today is I want to try some cool VFX shots, dancing clone shots. Oh, those are really cool. I've seen it like on like TikTok. So I already know whatever the heck you do with this. Yeah. I know it's gonna be amazing. Well, I hope so. And we're gonna try. Well, let's uh, let's get to work. Let's shimmy. Let's After filming a super awesome dance video for TikTok, it was time to level up the edit using Adobe Premiere Pro. Peter, I'm What's excited. Up? What's up, everybody? I'm here with Gabby, and I'm about to show her the cut of the dance video. Make sure you guys stay tuned afterwards because I'm going to go over some Adobe Premiere tools that I use and some editing techniques. I'm ready. ready for this? I'm nervous. I'm excited. videos now. This is I got you. I got you. How am I supposed to go from this back to what I was doing? <laughs> so do you think we leveled it up? You freaking leveled it up. So I wanted to show you how I did some of these effects. So this is my Premiere Pro timeline. This is the entire video from beginning to end. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show you some uh, Premiere tools that I use. So when editing for TikTok, you want to make sure that you have like as stabilized footage as possible. So for example, we had this one shot right here that was a little shaky. As you can see that shot, you know, it's kind of shaky, it kind of moves up and down. It was shot handheld. We could fix that easily with Premiere's Warp Stabilizer. We could stabilize this footage. So uh, all you do is select the footage, uh, you go into your effects, type in Warp Stabilizer, double click it to add it. It's gonna analyze it in the background and then you, it might punch in a little too much. All you gotta do is just uh, switch out some of your settings. Uh, so you go into your framing, change this to stabilize crop. Okay, so I'll switch this to perspective and then I'll go into advanced and switch on detailed analysis and then for rolling shutter ripple, since this was handheld and shot on a DSLR, I'm gonna put enhance reduction. And now let's see what the results are. And there you go. Much, much, much better. The next thing that I wanted to show you is how I did this cool effect right here. And what's cool about it is that I did it all within Premiere. So let me show you. It's three of the same shot layered on top of each other. And each layer is cropped and then adjusted either to the left or to the right. And then to hide that edge, I just uh, feathered it and then hide the edge and there you go you have this really cool shot and it's all done within premiere just using a pretty basic effect which is just crop and layering stuff on top of it yeah i'm telling you I, I can i can do this i think you can do it too it looks yeah. scary but i can do this no, i think you can do it it's definitely scary any new program anything new that you open up is going to be scary mm -hmm. but once you get the the basics of it because the main the main tools that i use is select and cut you know that's all you need to move stuff around and to actually make actual cuts all the other stuff you use every once in a while. So I think a lot of people are intimidated when they first open this program because there's a lot going on. Going on, yes. I am that intimidated person. Yeah, so you shouldn't be. Just focus on like 
certain little things and then start expanding from there, you know? The next thing that I wanted to show you is how I did this cool cartoon echo effect. Okay, so let me show you how I did this effect. In After Effects, I made a new sequence using the footage, and then using key light, I removed the green screen and then masked everything else out. And then I added the cartoon effect, and then I switched out the background color to red, tweaked a few settings. Then using the change to color tool, I switched out the colors, I then added the echo effect and changed around a few settings. Now make sure you change your operator mode, which is pretty much your blending mode. Change that to composite in front. I then duplicated the footage, resized and repositioned some of them. I then switched out the colors again of the duplicated footage and this was the final result. So the last thing that I wanted to show you is once you're done with your video and you want to send it out to TikTok and you want to change it to the vertical format, Premiere has this tool that makes that super easy. And uh, let me show you how that's done. So pretty much this is the whole video right here. And right now it's in uh, widescreen, 16 by nine, and we got to make this nine by 16. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to change your sequence settings. Okay, so all you want to do is change 16 by 9 to 9 by 16 so all you got to do is switch these two uh, okay so 1440 by 2560 okay now you have 9 by 16 that's okay delete all your previews yes now the next thing you want to do is you go into your effects and type in auto reframe add that now as it's analyzing right click this clip and make sure they don't have scale to frame size. Otherwise, it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna keep it to the same frame size. So make sure you got this off as I have it right now. It's checked off. Okay, back to the video. Now it's done analyzing. So now if you go through the video, she's been auto reframed to be centered in every shot. So that's what I like about auto reframe, that it allows you to post the same video across multiple social channels like YouTube or TikTok or whatever. I don't know if you know this, but this was actually my first dance video. Like I've directed music videos in the past, but this was my first time directing a dance video. So I was kind of nervous, like no no lie. Like, well, it didn't come off like that at all. I feel like the attitude with everybody on set, like, yeah. you know, you're comfortable, especially if you're like one person on camera. Usually you're on camera and you're like dancing with other people and you vibe off of that. Yeah. But like, I was vibing off just like with the set, with the camera, with you guys there, the music, like it was good. I think it all came together beautifully. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, me too. All right guys, with that said, I want to thank this episode's guest, Gabby Banuelos. Thank you. No problem. My name is Pedro Flores, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks, Gabby. Ah! 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 <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> On the next episode of Level Up at Adobe Premiere Pro, Ricky Shucks and I will level up your video production. Don't miss it! <laughs>